My junior year of college, I discovered this book. It was one of the Time Life series on color. Every photograph that stopped me in the book was by this guy named Jay Maisel. There was something about his work that spoke to me, that touched me in a way, and I connected with. And so I ended up calling him up one day, is it possible for me to drop my book off? And it turned out the person who answered the phone was Jay. Here I was a junior in college, and I was working with, you know, arguably really the greatest color photographer of his day. It was the land of Oz of photography. I don't think anybody can really imagine how much work Jay had created at that point. I think what Jay taught me the most was the work ethic, you know, was understanding how hard you had to work to get to a certain level in this business. And he really inspired me to do that. My whole philosophy on photography is the celebration of the things that I find beautiful. When images are painful, they show whether they're conflict or you know, death or destruction, and it's so wrought with that visually, I think people immediately shut down to it. So my approach has always been, let me try to tell that story in a really powerful yet beautiful and poignant way. When I'm hired, I'm really a problem solver. And I love that, and it's challenging, but it's different than when it comes from inside me. When I did the work on Ellis Island, I'd never shot architecture before. Suddenly I was shooting these empty rooms. It was the south side of Ellis Island, the infectious disease hospital. And it was there that I started working with a large format 4x5 camera for the first time. And I began to make pictures that were very beautiful because they had incredible light, lead paint, which gave an unbelievable color. And of course, the texture and the detail of using transparency film on a place like that was extraordinary. But there was something else in these pictures that I was feeling. There became a subtext. There was something underneath the photographs, a sense of humanity. Almost really the spirits that were in these rooms were becoming part of my photographs. When people look at my Ellis work, they always say there's an intimacy in the work. And that is because of the depth of the work. And you don't get depth in photography unless you take time. I spent five years documenting a place. That's a long time, you know, but the more you put into it, the more time it takes, the deeper you get. The photograph I was holding is a, a photograph of the Jetstar roller coaster in Seaside Heights, New Jersey, uh, about two days after uh, Hurricane Sandy wiped out most of the eastern seaboard. Nobody was really understanding the scale of what had just happened, and I decided that in order to really show this story, I had to get above it. I'll never forget the color of the water. It was almost like you were in the Caribbean. It was turquoise because so much sand had been dragged up and dredged up from the storm. It was this stunningly beautiful, serene, quiet scene, but everything was wrong because this roller coaster was sitting in the ocean. The quality of a print to me is everything. I work with the state-of-the-art equipment. I do everything a certain way. And then when I get to the print, it's critical that all those steps get reflected in the final output, which is the print. Is a print the only way to collect a photograph? Yes. I believe now where we're in a digital world, I consider the print the original. Permanence is one of the most important aspects, I think, as an artist uh, of your work, because that's your legacy. Your prints are your legacy. One of the things with this latest ink technology from Epson, it's really dramatically improved permanence in a way that I, I'm very, very excited about. I think it's gonna really change the way we think about longevity in a color print. In the end, really what's left is the print. Uh, I mean, we don't even know how long a digital file's gonna last. So if the print survives, it's the only way I can continue to tell my story long after I'm gone.